Jean DuPont, I'm the, the director of the Rockaway Waterfront Alliance. Um, I'm thrilled to be here, and I'm really glad that uh, Ron uh, had specifically invited all of us to come here, uh, specifically community members and, and uh, community partners. Um, uh, Rockaway Waterfront Alliance was formed almost 10 years ago. I'm the founding director, and um, uh, it was really formed to, to try and empower a lot of the youth in the Rockaways to uh, actively engage and advocate for community, but also to get actively involved in uh, working on environmental issues. Um, shortly after the storm, we started doing things that we weren't used to doing. Some was relief work, but also helping the community to connect through technology and helping kids specifically to uh, connect with seniors and immigrants in times of disaster using cellular technology. So um, we've been, I think all of us can say that we've been doing things and programs that maybe we weren't um, as uh, concerned about prior to the storm, and it's just really, I think, broadened our reach and broadened and strengthened our community uh, by trying to, to really address uh, issues not only directly to the environment, but also more about community building. Um, <laughs> Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Renee Diggs. I and I'm also interning at Rockaway Waterfront Alliance. In addition to that, I'm a new community member of Bar Rockaway moving there just this uh, past summer, end of summer. <laughs> so um, my program, uh, and my intent, I guess, in, is just being a part of this collaborative experience and, and, and learning and taking in all this information and um, using that towards what I would call um, an emergent, or immersive practice of urbanism. Um, and so understanding uh, the uh, community from the ground level and what role I play as a, 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 a growing professional in this field. Hi, my name is Lara Lucia. I work for the Morisai Goals. I'm the disaster relief coordinator. Um, so half my time is spent coordinating LES Ready, as you saw in the above slides with Rebuild My Design, and I'm a disaster case management, uh, manager. I was drawn to work at Goals because I am from the community on the side, born and raised, and I'm raising my family there. During Hurricane Sandy, Goals did a lot of wonderful things on the ground, so I was instantly drawn to the, dyna the 
dynamics uh, GOES has with the community. So it's been an honor, and two days ago, I celebrated my one year being at GOES here in Rotterdam. So I'm really excited. Woo! <laughs> Reyes, and I am the executive director of Goals for the Lower East Side. I am born and raised on the Lower East Side. I've been with Goals for the past 13 years. Uh, though Goals is an almost 37-year-old organization, we spend much of our time on the Lower East Side fighting against greedy landlords and wild west development that has um, been causing displacement and gentrification. And uh, we began after Sandy to really reimagine um, and re envision what our role needs to be on the Lower East Side, understanding that we still have to fight and work against the tides that are looking to profit off of our community, but also understanding that the environment uh, was uh, something that we needed to contend with as well. And so we are now also, in addition to all the millions of other things we do, working on trying to bring in resiliency strategies and make sure that in the case of a future disaster, our residents are prepared. And through that process, it's most important that our residents have a voice in this process itself, in the rebuilding, and that we use it as an opportunity to empower them more.